Hey gang, taking a look at uh, Battlefield Kursk, uh, the Tigers of Burning 43. It's the GMT game magazine uh, game. I think it's uh, number 34. Yeah, number 34. So, sort of sexy uh, artwork. It's Trevor Bender title. Pretty interesting. Uh, there's a lot going on in a very small package. Uh, I got quibbles with the map, I got quibbles with the bits and pieces, but overall pretty interesting and I think it could potentially be a great learning game uh, or introductory game for you to uh, get stuck into. Not too many pieces to overwhelm the beginner and stuff like that. So let's let's have a little talk about what happened for the turn. First thing you've got to do, and this is where it's a little bit of a hidden information exercise, but hey, we're playing solo. We've been doing it for a long time, so we, we kind of can bifurcate our brains. There, there's this concept around posture where you can move your posture from uh, up or down one space. So if I'm here, I can go down here or up to here, and that's it. Uh, and then you keep track of where you were. Uh, so this turn I was uh, paused as the Germans, so next turn, I might decide to be in repositioning posture or whatever the case may be. And so that gives you the pluses and minuses to your information, uh, not your information, to your resource points or replacement points that you uh, receive. When you take on a pause, for instance, you're going to pick up an extra replacement point for the turn. And given how badly uh, a lot of the German units are in shape-wise, I figured we'd uh, we'd pick up an extra point, which in fact historically is what they did for the first two turns of this game. And then, uh, if you're in the engage mode, you know you can you'll lose an RP and an armored RP as well. And you're thinking, well, if I don't have any, what does it matter? Well, it could matter if you're the Germans or the Soviets, depending on how many replacement points you're going to get in a turn, right? Uh, that can be a beat down, particularly when you're already at a minus one here. You don't want to lose another one. That's two steps you're going to have to take off the board. So that that's a planning thing that's going to need to occur over the course of... I'm having trouble with the stand, so you're going to have to bear with me here. Um, yeah, it's not going to sit still. So you're going to have to deal with that over the course of the game uh, and manage and be thinking forward. Uh, if it's going to take me two, uh, three turns to go from pause, right, to reposition, to deploy, and then to engage as the Germans, uh, I'm probably not going to be getting into the point where I can uh, do much. And interestingly enough, look at it right here, right? Four turns in, if I move, start to move along the track, and I went to engage, I get four armor replacements. Well, we don't want to lose armor replacements come June, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> really interesting. Now, the, everything else about this game, I think is pretty straightforward. There are these fortification zones that sort of weave their way across the map. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Weave their way across the map in red and blue, and they come on in stages. So you do have to keep track of that. Uh, the the combat movement is pretty is pretty straightforward as is combat, but the sequence of play is a little different. Sequence of play is is driven by armored units and rail unit, railed infantry units moving. Then you do combat, then everything else moves. So this kind of gives you a exploit opportunity here, uh, if you manage to create a big enough breakthrough where there are no zones of control. Zones of control are your classic zone of control rules in any basic game. You move into them, you stop, and stuff like that. One thing that is interesting or different in this is that uh, the camera is balling, is that these offensive markers here, uh, if I could just get the camera to sit just for a second, you can see that. I'll show you one of these guys. It says plus one, one column shift, right? No, oh, this is awesome, isn't it? Just the it's high quality. It's just high quality video. Uh, so <clears throat> when we're when we're looking to conduct an offensive, as the Soviets, if I have a shock army, right? 
these guys, or an armoured unit, those units can participate and take advantage of an, an offensive. And this one was expended. We used it this turn to test it out, see how it would go. And in fact, we conducted a one-to-one -one attack here in against this infantry here. It's, it's five versus three. And we would be attacking into a marsh, and from a marsh, and also they, they would get the benefit of the 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 fortifications in this particular zone so that's going to be a significant penalty so we figured well let's let's uh, apply this to it and that'll at least pull us back one and we'll see what happened i ended up rolling uh i think i rolled an exchange there for that and so both sides lost a step or it was a defender retreat and i elected to stay and then force the kill on the shock unit right which now takes away any ability up here for them to use offensive chits up here. So you use this offensive chit for the turn, and then wherever there's an armored unit or a shock unit, they can take advantage of that plus, plus one to the right column shift. Uh, there's obviously column shifts for the you know, terrain and stuff like that, right? Now, how do you win? You win, uh, you've got this VP track that starts at zero, and the heavy green line means the Germans have a strategic victory and then it fades out and eventually becomes a, a strategic victory for the Soviets, right? Well, that's a, that is done. Oh, come on here, fellas. Yeah, camera, camera, camera. I guess these, I'm, I'm gonna have to invest in some real stuff. Someone send me money. <laughs> so uh, these locations were the red star, all right? Or all worth a, v a VP each. And as you lose them, we're going to move these this up the track. So to keep a strategic victory of the 12 VPs available, you can only lose four. One, two, three, four. Uh, if we lose five or six, it's going to be, I think that's called an operational victory. And then it becomes a Russian operational victory. So that is a tough, tough ask. Let's say we manage to keep uh, the Denver River, River line. One, two, three. That would only be three we keep. Not enough. Four, sorry, before there's a vessel down here. So that'd be four. So it means we need to keep one more, five, or potentially six. Six, but so the, the Germans could potentially shrink up their line and hunker down and try and hold Gommel, Kiev, Denempa, whatever it is, and, the, and Zafirossi over there, or whatever that's called, and Odessa. Uh, you know, this is basically strategic level almost. No, probably not. I'm sorry. It's 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 high, high. I should put the camera down. I'm trying to hold the thing, uh, camera steady. It's probably what I would call high uh, operational, right? Uh, because you're dealing with cores of units, basically, and they're all in varying stages of decay. Uh, it's Ukraine 43 zoomed out, basically. So uh, there'll obviously be a big battle for Kharkov. We've got to try and hold that as long as we can, because that's a little bit of a linchpin. There's not much uh, terrain here to, to hold on to. And we've got uh, this mountain range here that's pretty tough to fight. So we might be able to sneak some units out of there and uh, and work out how to uh, protect the uh, protect this this line. We're going to drop some stuff back to, to cover the line. Anyway, that's kind of the first turn. Uh, we, we conducted this one attack here. We had... Uh, I think that was all I did. I did one attack in here into Belgorod. Um, which went well because it was a retreat and there was zones of control. Uh, this, these don't negate the zones of control. The attacker uh, runs the retreat, so he runs him into this uh, zone of control. He dies because you've got to lose a step. Um, and I've got to check a why, why I took that unit off. I've got my notes, but I forget what it was. Didn't conduct any attacks in the south. So we're going to move on to turn number two. Talk to you soon.